Okay, so I've got this mesh and I want to uh, remake it from scratch in Fusion. So I think I will do this uh, with the sweep. So this uh, profile here and I will sweep that profile uh, along a wave shape here. So that takes uh, two sketches. So begin with I will begin with one with from the side. And uh, here it's just uh, flat, so let's uh, make just a straight line to about there. And same over here. Oh, let's see. There to there. Uh, I think this will be down here instead. So it's a little bit hard to see uh, when the mesh is there, so let's hide that for now. And uh, I will use a spline to connect them. With splines, you don't want to mess around with a lot of points, instead, you want to make the handles create the, uh, the shape. So in this case I know this will be tangent over here so uh, let's start with a tangent constraint between this and this and also down here. So there is a smooth transition. But we're not sure it matches uh, the mesh. So let's see. Uh, I want to draw uh, in the handle until it matches the shape here and it's a little bit hard to see it, but somewhere around there and in the other end same thing here something like that it's not perfectly uh, aligned perhaps but this will do so Finish sketch. And there is our uh, wave line. And uh, now for the profile that will sweep along it. So I'll make one more sketch. Oh, sorry, wrong plane. Create sketch on this plane. So I'll just uh, begin with uh, tracing this part here. Like uh, that. As you see, uh, those are not part of the main shape. And uh, with the spline tool, I try to trace uh, this as well. Maybe like that, or maybe that's one too much, but yeah, let's delete this. And I want this handle to be perfectly straight, so it uh, will be a smooth transition over here. And I'll try to mirror, is, mirror this to the other side then. And I want this to be perfectly straight. Something like that. And the inside. You only need a point where the curvature changes. So, same over here. Make that uh, vertical or horizontal. And this one vertical. And drag the handles to 
let the line match up the mesh. Or replace them slightly. think that will do. It's just uh, fractions of millimeters there. And uh, oh, here is another thing. Okay, that's okay. And uh, between those the construction line and that would be vertical so if we hide the sketch hide the mesh we now have half a profile and let's mirror this so double click to select all of it and mirror line will be this uh, construction line here. Okay, and as it's a closed profile it will become bluish. So uh, let's finish that sketch and make the sweep. This is the profile and this is the path. Bring back this and you'll see some differences here. For example, uh, here I didn't make it uh, long enough, so let's edit this. I can just uh, make it as long as I want. And over here as well. So, if I look at it from the side, can see that this is slanted here and there as well so I have to cut away some from my body and uh, with only the mesh visible I make a new sketch to make to draw some lines to cut with so uh, in this end we need to uh, this plane is this plane is the sketch plane and over here we need to cut like this up again they snap to being parallel with the uh, this line and I think that's okay and down here it doesn't matter as long as I come to the correct spot here and this will be our cutting tool So here's our body, finish sketch, uh, split body. This is the body to split and here's our splitting tool. Okay, and that makes uh, a lot of new bodies here. So let's uh, just see what uh, what should be removed here. Yeah, 
all of those. So in the browser here, uh, click and shift click to select them all and right click and remove. So above, uh, right here, I, I, I can see I uh, cut a little bit too much, but uh, never mind. So, uh, and uh, the same thing in the other end. And uh, if we look at the sketch, we can see those uh, small things poking down there. So let's um, select, uh, let's uh, go to modify and uh, offset face. And offset it down to here. And then I want a construction plane to be able to sketch this. If I sketched on this plane, uh, it, it would be uh, angled, but I want a construction plane that is straight here. So let's create that, an offset plane from this as it's um, straight. And I can set a distance, but I can also uh, switch distance to two object, and I want it to be exactly here. And it appeared up there. So let's make uh, the sketch here. I want to project those corners here. Okay. And then I can just uh, sketch this out. Finished sketch. Let's hide that and uh, extrude this. And I want it to go exactly to this, so not distance but to object. Like that. And join is the correct operation. So that's it. Uh, I'll just uh, repeat the same steps for this side and uh, repeat all the steps with the cutting and uh, the tab over here. Pretty close, I think. <laughs>